operating system. So what is Linux operating system? Why it is important so? So as you know that in machines, we can run either our Windows operating system or Linux operating system. So in Linux operating system, it is an open source operating system. We get many distributors inside the Linux operating system. We have Ubuntu Linux, we have Red Hat Linux, right? We have Fedora Linux, we have CentOS. There are many operating system. So inside that, now we are seeing something about the one of the Linux operating system, and that is called Kali Linux. Now this Kali Linux, which is something very famous, okay, it is a Linux, a free open source, and it's a Linux distribution, and which is mainly used for penetration testing, security auditing, and digital forensics. So this is what which we use this operating system in the cybersecurity. Which Linux? Kali Linux, which we'll be using. And this Kali Linux provides a comprehensive and efficient platform for ethical hackers for conducting security assessment, identify the vulnerabilities, improve overall system security. So this Kali Linux, wide importance in the ethical hacking. We have a lot of pre-installed tools inside this Kali Linux. Okay, there are hundreds of, you know, hundreds of hundreds of uh, tools which will be get inside this. And we get the community support inside this for any support if you require. We'll have a regular updates. We can do customization. And as we know, it is an open source operating system. And it is virtualization friendly compared to other operating system. And we have a lot of forensics tools and it is an industry recognition. So how to install this? Kali Linux in the, inside your PC. So for that, what we need to do here? So we need to download this. Okay, we need to download this Kali Linux inside your computer. So for that, when you search for download Kali Linux, you'll get into an official site of this uh, Kali. And you can see here, we have something installer images over here. And it is saying that it is recommended here. You can click on this and uh, it will ask you for uh, download this. You can download this installer over here. So when you click here, automatically your downloads get started over here. Right. So in my case, already I downloaded in my PC and you can see like uh, there is already installed uh, uh, Kali Linux image, something around with uh, 4.2 some change GB. So once I download this, the second thing you require inside this is, so let me get into my website of Kali. And inside this, you need one more thing, which is called as a uh, application, which is called a virtual machine application. So this Kali Linux, either you can directly put into your laptop or you can use some tool like virtualization. And inside this virtualization software, you can install this uh, Kali Linux. So the advantage you can use both Windows and Linux operating system. So, and I recommend for you to go and install this in any of these virtual applications. So in my case, I downloaded this virtual VMware application. Once you click here, it will start download. And once it start downloads, you can install this. And finally, you can see the you know uh, shortcut icon over here, or you can search this from your uh, uh, search bar. And once you get inside this, you can get into the, your uh, VMware workstation. And inside this VMware workstation, you can go and start creating a virtual machine here. Now it is asking for you uh, to choose which type you want. And I'm just selecting typical. And operating system, right now I'll not choose. I'll choose it later. And from there, I'll go and choose my uh, operating system, which is over here. And as of now, uh, I'm just selecting this as uh, uh, which operating system as uh, some Debian operating system I'm selecting. Or you can find some Kali Linux over here. It did not find. I'm just selecting this Debian. Click next. And it is by default, it is going into the virtual machine. Uh, it is going inside your documents. So once I get it, this, so where I can get this, I can get into my documents. You can see over here. So there is a folder called as virtual machine. And here it's going to be get created. So let me click next here. And it is asking my size of this uh, 
uh, virtual machine. So it's going to be, let me give this as a 100 GB. I'm giving the capacity of the hard disk. And uh, finally, what I do, finish this. So once I finish this, what it is asking here, it is asking me to go and uh, uh, choose my uh, image over here. So I already downloaded this and I was saying that this is on my desktop. So let me select this, click OK and click OK. So once you're done with this, now you can power on the virtual machine. So once you power on this virtual machine, okay, your virtual machine gets started. And with this virtual machine, your image which you have been added to this, now it is booted. Now you can see here, uh, it is asking for graphical installation. I said, yes, I'm going with my graphical installation. Okay, you can use your control alt enter disk at a time so that you get a full screen over here. And it is asking for me to choose the language. I'm choosing English language. And then, okay, uh, I'm selecting India here and American English, the keyboard, but default, uh, okay, it is selecting over here. And uh, mount installation media, I've chosen image, right? So it is already taken here. So load installing components uh, through that image, it is taking. So once it is done, now it is trying to detect your uh, network. So in VMware, what you can do here, you can go for settings here. And inside the settings, you will find here network adapter. You can choose this uh, two options over here to make your uh, uh, Kali Linux to get connected to your network. So it is uh, configuring your uh, network DHCP. So your network is probably not using DHCP protocol. Alternately, it is saying, okay, so right now, so I already have given this. So let me check it once again. Else I'll check it later. So as of now, let me get continue here. Mm. Normally, it is saying, retry once again. Let me check it once again and see. Network is probably not using DHCP protocol. Okay, let me continue this. So right now I don't require, let me check it later. So it is asking for the host name. What do you want to give? By default, it is saying Kali name. And let me give it the same and the user. And here also I'm using here uh, the name, a username who is going to use this mission as a Kali. And here also I'm using Kali. So once I've done with this, it is asking for the password. So let me give some password here. Continue. Trying to detect your uh, partitions, like where your OS installations get started. Now, do you want to use the entire disk? Yes, I say. There is a virtual machine which I've taken. I want to continue for using the entire disk over here. I, all files in the part one partitions. So I'm okay with this. Let me continue. And finish of uh, partition and writing the disk. I say, okay, let's get continue. And uh, if you want to, you know, uh, continue the changes list below the disk, otherwise it will make uh, some further changes manually. So right now I'm taking this as a no, yeah, sorry, yes. And I'm selecting next. Now the installation process gets started. So let me pause here and uh, it takes some time. So again, we'll get continue for the same. By default, it's giving uh, you know, some software selections over here. Uh, choose this desktop environment uh, XFC and a uh, few things over here. Let me take it as a default and get it uh, click next. And it is installing all the softwares. So after a long pause, like we have uh, uh, here, one option it is asking to install uh, the Grub booter loader. So by default, as of now, I'm just clicking here. Uh, uh, next, and here it is asking enter uh, uh, enter the device manually here, or you choose this uh, option as uh, slash j slash sda. So I'm just selecting this slash j slash sda and click next here. So now the again installation process gets started. Now it's trying to finish this. So once this finish, the final output that you should able to see here is uh, it should ask for your login and password. Okay, and the login name, what you have given as Kali and the password, whatever you assigned it. So now what it is said, it's uh, 
finish the installation process. Now it is asking to get continue so that it should get uh, rebooted. So once this gets reboot, now you can see here. So Kali Linux, now I'm just pressing enter over here. Now you can see here the logo of the Kali Linux. And once this has been done, it should ask me the username. So the username I've given as uh, Kali and the password, the word you have given at the time of, you know, installation. And finally, you can see the, once it is logged in, you can go and uh, put this as an exclusive mode so that, uh, you know, you get a full screen over here. And uh, you can see here, uh, these are all the, you know, directories inside this Linux operating system, which you get. So what is this all the direct, every directory has uh, some specific uh, purpose, like we'll see later about that. But once you are done with the installation part, it looks like this. And uh, we can get into this uh, uh, menu over here. And uh, as of my internet also is disconnected, we'll connect it later. And uh, inside this, uh, what all things are available and uh, what services are available. As I said that in the Kali Linux, uh, in the Kali Linux, we get a lot of tools like, you know, 600 plus tools, which will be available. And especially for security, uh, what we are learning inside this. Okay. So information gathering, vulnerability as, uh, analysis, you know, web, web application analysis and password attacks, wireless attacks. So we'll see a lot of tools in the coming session. But right now our job is that uh, how to install this Kali Linux operating system inside your com computer. Now for this, Okay, to get this uh, again uh, minimized, press Control Alt Enter on your screen uh, on the keyboard. So once I use my uh, Control Alt, uh, uh, only Control Alt, and then you can minimize this. Okay, and you can use your Windows machine and Linux machine part. So he was talking about like uh, to install this Kali Linux inside your computer. You can get into your official website, and there you see uh, an option over here: Installer Images and also virtual machine. Now we did all the installation process, right? Now you don't want to get completely, you know, go with the step-by-step -step, uh, process, which it was asking. Uh, you want complete like, uh, you know, dump, uh, which will be downloaded and you can directly start at the uh, complete uh, virtual image. You can choose this option also. But right now I've chosen this option. And uh, inside this, once you want to go and install this uh, operating system, we need something more uh, that is about a, a virtual machine application. And we get many applications over here, like uh, we have VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, and other QMU. So inside this, I've taken this uh, VMware. Okay, with this VMware, once I download this, I install it, this VMware here. And once you get this desktop icon over here, I've chosen this. First, my job is to create a virtual machine. So once I create a virtual machine, okay, once I create a virtual machine and I've cho chosen this image of uh, Kali Linux, which have been downloaded in my uh, machine, you can see that uh, the Kali Linux image, which was downloaded. And finally, I created a machine. I installed this operating system in the machine. So next time you can see this machine comes over here and you can just simply click on this so that your machine gets uh, over here. Uh, right now, uh, my machine is already running, which is showing here. Okay, you can close this, okay, whenever you want. You can do power off like this. And whenever next time when you require this, so now these can be opened uh, by getting into your documents. And inside the documents, you have virtual machine. And there we have chosen this uh, Debian type uh, operating system. And uh, Debian is a name, but uh, actually it is a Kali Linux operating system. So you see here there is an uh, icon with a different icon you can see comparing to all this. So this is the three icons files which you can see here. This will be the only file which will be available inside this folder. So once you double click this and you get this screen over here, like how do you power on your machine? The same thing you click on this and once you do this, your virtual machine gets started. Okay, so once your virtual machine gets started and we can start working with your Kali Linux, right? Now you know how to download, how to install and how to off it and how to on the virtual machines. Thank you all.